Sorry, I got carried away. Okay. But the key thing, what do you, the key thing here is to visualize what's going on. The hard part about this problem, and the problem that the, the reason it gave you trouble was because you couldn't figure out what was what. So you have to understand. They're asking you for the distance traveled. The distance traveled is the arc length. The angular displacement is the part that goes with the angle. Is that meters, right? No, it's radians. No, S. S is meters, yes. Yeah. So guys, this, the arc, the um, angular displacement is going to be the stuff involving the angle. It's going to be rads. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you get that, then you can do the problem. Otherwise, it's like difficult. Now, number 14, it says a wheel starts at rest and has a constant angular acceleration. So let's go back and do it like that. Initial velocity, WI, is what? Zero. Zero. Ten. And then it has a constant yeah. angular acceleration. If it reaches an angular velocity of 24, so WF equals 24. Yeah. So do shopping this. T equals 6 seconds. Find the angular acceleration. So we want to find the fish. Uh, okay, and then it says what? Find the angular displacement in this time. So you want to find. We want to find the fish. That's easy because what's the fish going to equal? It's going to equal change in, change in, velocity. change in velocity over time. So the fish is just going to be 24 WF minus WI over six. So the angular acceleration is going to be four. Four what? Four, four meters per second squared. <laughs> exactly. If you're no longer in Kansas, it's not meters per second squared, it is rads per second squared. So far, so good? Is it rad or rads? Is he wrote rad on the paper? It doesn't rad. matter. Why does it matter? Because he always takes points off the way. For an S? If you write radian, then you're going to get a 5 in all my logical you're thinking of Steve, just do a Z. Rad. Okay? <laughs> so say your street. The new boys. <laughs> so my homeboy is called a Rad. Um, now, What's find the mean? angular displacement. It's like, where did that come from? Angular displacement. So now, are you guys ready? Yeah. To answer that question, we have to make a little detour and do the full Monty. So here's the full Monty. So stay with me. Full Monty. Old school, new school. Old school. Distance equals rate times time. We know that, right? So R is just velocity. So velocity equals x over t. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we knew that uh, acceleration equals v over t, right? Yeah. Okay, but now let's cut to the chase. We have three guys for linear. One, one formula is where it's at. The other formula is the serial killer. Yep. And the final formula is for free fall with initial velocity. So let's hit them. First one is VF equals VI plus, this is where it's at? AT. AT. Remember that one? Yeah. All right. Let's do our... Are we still in 14? We're going to stay with me. It's a long detour, but we'll come back and it'll all be clear. Yes, we're on 14. Second question. But before we get there, we have to like travel through the yellow brick road. Here we go. So for our rotational, for our rotational formulas, we're going to take out VF. Everybody stay with me. Yes, squared. We're going to get WF. Oh, oh, we're doing the rotational version. WF equals WI plus, talk to me. Fish, fish T. What is the it's angular alpha. acceleration? Angle alpha. It even looks it's, like it's acceleration. It, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. It's Thank you. Angular acceleration. It's, how, an a. it's how fast it's yeah. accelerating a. in a rotational a. motion. Okay. okay. So Serial killer. Now just follow along with this one. Abyssal. What? Focus. So here we go. I know Andrew is like a bad boy. He's distracting you. Just square the first one. V F squared. And then VI squared, remember this? Yeah. Plus 2 AX. axis. Why are we writing all these equations? Stay with me, Steve. Stay with me. Okay, now. Steve. Steve. Connect the dots, Steve, and see physical Jesus. 
Here we go. So now we got W F squared <laughs> equals W I squared plus two, two fish, fish T. Oh, we got it. No, no, two, no, two no. fish theta. Theta, yes, good. Two fish theta. Is everybody with me? So these are not new formulas. They just look Greek because they are Greek, but it's exactly the same idea. Same idea that we saw before. And then finally, for distance, x or y. It does a lot. I don't know why. It's a superstition. Can anybody remember the distance formula? Race times time. No, it's no. The, the long one. It's free fall with initial velocity. It has like a one half velocity somewhere velocity in there. It's like one half. So it has, it has VIT, this is the long version, plus, oh, yeah. <coughs> you're right, one half AT squared. AT squared. And when it, it, it collapses with free fall, because what's the initial velocity in free fall? Zero. Zero. And, and then A becomes G, and G is 10, and 1 half of 10 is 5, and you get 5T squared. Yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. Okay, now, let's bring it along here, because we're going to need it to solve this problem. That's why we're here, Steve. Oh, Steve, now the final moment <laughs> arrives. Oh, we're going to use all five of these. We're going to use this one right now to solve the problem. <laughs> Patience, Steve. So here we are. Theta. What's X? Theta. Good. Equals? W. You've got to have some wit to be able to figure this one out. W-I-T. Okay. Wit. Plus one, one half, half fish, fish t, t squared. squared. There we go. One half fish t squared. Good. Now let's bring this up to uh, the question at hand. What was our initial angular velocity? Oh, Zero. 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 So we're looking for the distance traveled. That was part B of that question. The distance traveled is theta, and our and our initial velocity is zero. So thank God for small favors, it disappears. Yes. And we have one half. What's our fish? Four. Four. We got our fish up here, didn't we? Four. And do we have a T? Do we have Six. a T? Yes, right here. Yo, baby. There we go. Square it. Don't forget to square it. So we get 6, 6 times 2 is 36 times 2 is 72. So we've gone 72 meters in a circle. And that's the answer for number, what, 14? Yes. All right, now that's a really complicated question, but it causes you to think about how to put these guys together, and you can see the penalty, the myriad, the plethora of formulas here that are really just rewritten ways to say the same stuff we said a long time ago. I wonder if Dan would be mad if we talked to him about fish. Yeah, he would. He probably would think it would be a little fishy. Uh, okay, so. Axe matter. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> All right, number 15, you got to be fast in this class. Number 15, it says, find the constant angular acceleration. 72 what? 72 meters. meters. Yeah, why? Because what's, what's the distance going to be? It's going to be in meters, isn't it? I thought yeah. so. Oh, because meters is equal to radians. So Wait, we didn't find the angular acceleration. It's meters times radians Same thing is equal to meters. Yes, it's just Wait, a dude, circumference. So then how come theta not equal? Oh, we, we are the circumference radius. is a radius. Radius is a meter. So 2 pi radius is 2 pi meters. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, good. Okay, next one. Okay. Find the constant yeah. angular acceleration of a wheel starting at rest makes 50 revs in two minutes. So how many revs? Easy. 50 Easy. revs. Easy. And right away we know, bam, bam. 2 pi. 2 pi, 50. So we got 100 pi revs. Everybody see that happening? Yeah. So we got 100 pi revs. And then what else do we know? In two minutes. And T equals 2. Minutes. Min. I guess we got to go seconds. Kind of stupid. Minutes to seconds. What's that? 1 Six. to 60? 120. 120 seconds. Yeah. And then what are we looking for? Fish. Fish. Find the angular displacement. No, no, no. No, no. Find the uh, constant angular acceleration. Acceleration. So the fish. Okay. So we are looking Yeah. So the fish equals? W over T. Um, w over t, but w equals what? W equals 100. Theta over t, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So theta over t? Yes. Yeah. So 100 pi over 120. 120 over? Over one second. Right? Or no, over 120 again. Over 120. Wait, isn't, isn't that what I wanted us to do the first time, but we didn't? Wait, why is it 100 pi over 120 over 120? We don't have the same. Um, that's what you're thinking. That's my question. Yeah. 
Why? Is why? There, yeah, why are there because, two over 20? Because wow. this is a good question. Theta equals W over T, doesn't it? Change yes. in W over T? Yes. And W, let's go back. Oh. Guys, Charlie the Unicorn or something. Is it Charlie the Unicorn? I see for you. Guys, you're distracting me. What a wimpy throw. <laughs> Come on. Grow some, grow some. <laughs> so, look, guys. W equals what? Equals theta over T. T. So, we got theta up here, correct? Yes. So, we got to put it over T right here, and that gets us W. You see what I'm, um, what I'm talking about here? So, this is theta over T. That's W. Over what? Over T. So, so it's T twice. So this equals 100 pi over 120 over 120, which equals 5 pi over 6 over 120, which equals 5 pi over 720, which equals 15 over 750, which equals 1 over 50, which equals 0.02 meters per second squared. So the W equals 100 pi over 120, right? Pi over 144 is 3 over 150. 3 over 150 is 1 over 50. Okay. Wait, Tom, so... It's roughly 0.02. So W, or the velocity, angular velocity, is 100 pi over 120. Yes. And then you do over 120 because you plug it in basically back to the angular acceleration. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Do you remember the Jimmy Neutron movie? Where they go into space and fight the egg in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. The best movie. Such a good movie. I never saw that chicken soup dance or something like that. Yeah, yes. Oh, I did see and that. And they turn the amusement park rides into spaceships. Oh, oh my god. god. And they played like... Alright, last one, guys. Do you number 16 yes. on your own? Yeah, more or less. It's not exactly. I, I just did it in my head. Andrew, what is it exactly? Best. What is what? This answer? Pi over 144. Pi over 144 meters per second. Wait, can you do that up there for a second? Yeah. I'm not going to touch it. You guys do 16 on your own now. We don't have to... Can't you just? You're gonna. You're right. You have to do, do it. One, do it now. 100 times pi over 120 times one over 120. Yes. Take this point oh two. Yeah. But it's not really point. It's like point oh two five or something like that. Oh, then it's point oh three. Well, it's really three over. What is it, Andrew again? What? Pi over 144. Pi over 144. Okay, I'm doing that. Yeah. Not possible. You guys should all be able to do 16 on your own now. So never know if we're supposed to do like no. pot in terms of pi or not. Always in radians, he said. Wait, what does that say? No, I mean like leaving in terms of over seven twenty. Yeah, just approximate. Fifteen so, over seven fifty. Like leaving it like oh, we solving like actually pi or leaving yeah, yeah. in terms of pi. Does Dan will get mad. Right, right, right. Oh. Wait, that was not fifteen. No, no, I just approximated. Dirty. It. The answer yeah. is pi over one Wait, forty four. So what are we doing now? We're just sixteen. Degrees. Yes. What, what was that in years per second squared? Yes, because it's uh, acceleration. Angular acceleration. Angular. 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 <laughs> Change in the angular displacement. What runner? You have to find the theta. You have to find theta. What's the answer? Point zero nine six. It's arc length times. I think it's point one. I yeah. could be wrong. Theta That's is same thing. Arc length divided by the radius. Yes, and what's well, the arc so length? It's just 240 pi divided by 50. No, 120 divided by 50. You don't need have, you don't need pi's here. It's not a rep. Oh, what? It's just it just says it says uh, it says a person is running 120 meters on a circular arc. So That's the S. Do you guys see the S is 120? S is 120. Radius is what? 50. 50. Yeah. Okay. 
There's your thing. That goes right there. And then you just divide it by the time. But you have to be able to see that. You see what I mean? It's like little Chinese boxes, Russian dolls. Yeah. I got that right just because I knew that they wouldn't give us like God, and unneed information of like S, but since S is in meters and also theta is in meters, how do you know if they're giving you S if they're giving you theta? Good question. Theta is meter. Theta is units. As soon as we know it, it'll be. Theta is units. Yes. Okay. Explain why they're tied. Tom, since we have like 30 more minutes, can we just like do the rest of the homework? No. This I'm going over the rest of the chapter. Can you have already okay? No, wait, 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 wait. It's 2.4 is the theta, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two point four is theta. Yeah. And divided by whatever the time was. Twenty five. Yeah. That's uh, just one over twelve point oh eight. Point oh nine six. So it's point one. There we go. Point one. No, it's point zero. No, it's not. Nice driving. It's point zero nine. Point one. That's only off by like point oh nine. Point one oh. Okay. So, moving on. Guys, look on page 250. Next week. Look on page 250. Next Thursday. All the stuff I just talked about is on page 250 in the blue box. <laughs> See the blue box? Uh, 250. The blue box tells you the old school and the new school side by side. So, it's, it's a nice little cheat sheet. The formulas are just, you know, they just redress them. They're just like Barbie dolls dressed up in different outfits. Same Barbie doll, different outfits. You know, sometimes she's in the beach, sometimes she's in the country. Fine, of course. Okay, sometimes she's going linear, sometimes she's rotating. Okay, we won't go any further with that. So, um, next question is, flies on a turntable. So check out the flies on a turntable. Unless you're too far down memory. We're going back down to a turntable. Where is that? Um, it's not. I'm doing it up here. This is like previously coming attractions. Is that dot a fly? No. Well, actually, yes. That dot's a fly. And here's the second fly. We've got two flies. Fly number one and fly number two. There are three dots. Is that right in the middle? That's the turntable dot. Is that right in the middle? Yes, that's right in the middle. Like turntable fly. fly. Yeah. Now, this is that. We'll go back. We're old school. This is like a 33 and a third RPM. You know, an old album. Put it on the turntable and watch it spin. You don't know what that means. Yes, you do, because DJs use them all the time. No, they don't. No, they, no, they don't. Anymore. They just they have, like, acrylics. computers, and they just, well, like, they press their okay. keyboards. Right. Garage, man. That just means that <laughs> computers, like, scream. <laughs> Revolution is per minute. Revolution is per minute. All right, now here's the question. I got two flies. True or false, both flies have the same angular velocity. Think about it. False. Do they both have the same angular velocity? False. They're both stuck to the turntable. They both have little suction cups, like flies do. And the suction cups that are firmly nice. attached to the turntable. And the turntable, nice. Steve, is rotating. Okay. Turntable is rotating. I was it rotating if there are suction no. cups. True. The flies are sucked, are, have suction cups on top of the turntable. Yeah, They're both rotating. It's a turntable. It's rotating. Now. No, I'm true. saying. Oh, wait, no, it's not. So think about it. True. Oh, you I see, like, the distance they're going to. Oh, shit. True or false? Angle or the arc length? Angular velocity. Are they the same or different angular velocity? No, What's different. the equation for two weird buildings? I'm only saying false because their radiuses are different. Yeah, that's why you have no. to think about this. So watch. Same. Theta times the Oh, no, they're the same. Same. Watch. Am I wrong? You see this little, you see this little red marker? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The flies are attached to the red marker, correct? Yeah. yeah. Now, the red marker yeah, yeah, yeah. is going to rotate with the no. turntable. No. And the flies are on... The red marker. So they both arrive back at this place where they started at the same right. time. So they must have the same angular velocity. angular velocity. But they have different. Now we take a little soap to mess with the flies, put it on the turntable, and the suction cups come unglued, and the flies go off the turntable. Which fly goes off further? The one on the outside. The one on the outside, because he has a he has a he has a bigger linear velocity. <laughs> exactly. He has a bigger arrow. He has a bigger linear velocity. So make a distinction between linear velocity and angular velocity. The angular velocity is the same for both. Yes. This guy's this guy's gonna travel more distance, but it 
but it turns out that if I wait, if you, how can you travel more distance if they're going at circumference, the same speed circumference, at the same time? The circumference, because the circumference of the radius, the circumference and the radius are out. what happens to the circumference and the radius. So, it's what like the same relative guys? No, theta is the angle. The Shh. Theta is the angular displacement. Nope. Right, Maddie. And what's theta? It's s over r. And what's s for a complete turn? 2 pi. 2 pi r. And the r cancels. And that's why, if he's further out, he's traveling further, but it cancels out, so his theta is going to be the same angle. So here's the point. V is linear velocity, and it's proportional to w. It's just changing the theta. Matheson, think about it on your own time. Here we go. So V is proportional to W, and what's the constant that holds them together? The radius. Tilde. So the radius holds them together because, look, <laughs> this guy right here is a smaller radius, and therefore we'll have a smaller linear velocity. This guy has a larger radius, and therefore we'll have a larger linear velocity. So, and you all, you all know this from the playground. If you're on one of those, uh, what do you call those things? Spinners merry-go-rounds. The guy on the outside of the merry-go-round, if he jumps off, will land farther away than the guy on the middle of the merry-go-round. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't make it over. It was one of those on a thousand ways to die. It was really funny. There's yeah. so many stupid things. Yeah. So funny. Box this formula and uh, keep it in mind. Linear velocity, it's not going to go away. It's very important. Linear velocity equals the radius times the angular velocity. Linear velocity equals radius times angular velocity. And what about linear acceleration? Over time. What's good for the velocity is good for the acceleration. So if it's RW, it must be R ish. So linear acceleration is equal to angular acceleration times the radius. Can you say that one more time? Linear acceleration? Yes is equal to angular acceleration mm -hmm. times the radius. Does he call that tangential? Tangential, yes. This thing right here, linear, is also called tangential yeah, because, tangential. because look, you see what's happening with this guy? He's going off on a tangent to the circle. And you see what's happening with this guy? He's going off on a tangent to the circle. No? Yeah. And the velocity is just called speed. If, if, if I take a fly, it's on the turntable right here, and suddenly it becomes unglued, what happens? It goes off like that, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's a tangent in the circle. So linear velocity is the same thing as tangential velocity. Okay. Dan's just going to draw a circle and hold up his meter stick to like one side of the circle. Okay. Like, isn't it great when you have a rope that's exactly the one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Coincidence. <laughs> All right, guys, go to page 252. 252, and do number three, speaking of fish. Mm. Oh. Number three on 252 in the top. In the beige box, Ooh, fish. fish is swimming behind an oil tanker. Oops! Oh, and he doesn't want to get he doesn't want to get sushi. Touch the pot. Maybe it'll see. Does not want to get sliced and diced. Number three. 